Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, from Right Invoice Stream here. Here we are looking at the 17 new mods that has dropped today on the 12th of April 2024. And as always, all the time types will be down below for any individual mods you want to look at. So, anyways, let's get crack on. So, first of all, we're looking at the American Water Tower. This is by Squizzle, Squiggles, 4.28 megabytes to download. Slot count is 2, goes down to 1, and essentially this is a water fill point, so you'll find this under build mode, under buildings and containers, go to the end, so you get 2 slots, goes down to 1, costs 1,200 to place, and yes, yeah, hop into our case here, grab our tanker, and just going to show you, just basically demonstrating all the thing up. So get to your fill trigger, and there we go. Fills up with water. Not the fastest, but overall not too bad. Good level of detail, I love the woodworking act. Uh, can you climb up the ladder? Uh, no, not really. But yeah, rather than like a big old metal water silo, got a nice one that's a bit more wooden. Actually, no, not, sorry, not wooden. Well, she does look metalish, a bit of an old metal. First of all, I thought it was like wood. Yeah, I thought it was a wood fill point. But, anyways, that is the American War Tower by Squiggles. Next, we've got the multi purpose shed. This is by Flint Town Modding. 1.34 megabytes to download. Slot count is 3 slots, goes down to 1. And essentially, these are buy points for salt, sugar beet, wood chips, stones, lime, and potatoes. So yeah, you'll find this under build modes, under buildings, containers. Oh uh, yeah, these all cost 49,382. And as I mentioned, three slots goes down to one. So yeah, if you got a new map in that, or got like a shop area, or even just on your own farm, if you want to place like a line point, stones, wood chips and that, then crack on, so yeah. So yeah, got salt, Sugar bean that, so just drive up to the appropriate trigger point. And overall, I'll say prices aren't too bad. Look at the prices. I should just look at lime sec. 103 for a thousand litres. So, if we compare that to just shopping that, 103 for a thousand litres. See, so yeah, actually, it's not too bad. You're looking at about two hundred pounds per, per thousand litres. So, compared to the base game stuff, it's actually worth it. So, anyways, that is the multi-purpose sheds by Flint Town Modding. Next, we've got the Metal Garage by Icas. Six point two one megabytes to download. Eleven slots on console. And yeah, first of all, you can find this under build mode, on buildings and sheds. Go down towards the end. The lemon slots goes down to one. And as always by iCast, you do have 21 different colour palettes. Three grand to place, day cost of one. And yeah, so you've got a door. Also you got your two rolling sheds, or rolling gates. Nice animation, got a small one and a large one. Light switch is just over here. Trigger on and off. Oh yeah, let's turn that one on. Oh yeah, good level of detail as always. Love the woodwork of that, especially the trusses and that. And have a little look outside. Round the back and that. Lovely details as always. So yeah, that is the Metal Garage by ICAS. Next. We've got the old Polish garage by Mitchu77. 18.27 megabytes to download. 22 slots for console. And yet, yeah, once again, find all the buildings under sheds. 22 slots goes down to 1. No color options or anything like that. Daily upkeep of 15. So you've got your old doors here. Love the animation, no sound to it, I don't think, or at least what I can hear. But yeah, we'd love to have a little bit of sound. I like switches, you've got two, so you've got 
one for this site and then head down here you got another one for the other side and yeah overall lovely detail lovely sort of wariness and that even like the ground like the ground texture as well like how it's just a bit more worn ground got a little workshop area over here no trigger that but things like we've got so many workshop tools and mods that are like the toolbox by Schultz mod in that you can put anything in here now to create a little workshop but anyways that is the old post garage by Mitchell 77 next we've got the small post house by Swashim 13.67 megabytes to download slot count is 20 goes down to 1 and yet you find us under buildings under farmhouse goes towards the end yeah 20 slots goes down to 1 no color options or anything like that you can enter the building got your seat trigger over here no options for changing wardrobe but regardless a lovely little bit of detail love the little details of the outside and that and yeah at the end day is a simple farmhouse in a Polish style 25,000 to place and yeah you'll find typically this in the northeastern region of Poland but anyways this is the small Polish house by Squashim next we've got the free solid farm pack by Bernisk 33.4 megabytes to download and essentially this is a pack of farm equipment or farm building so yeah this contains a shed a farmhouse a silo a bell and pad storage a fermented silo and a cow barn so yeah slot counts are as following seven slots for the shed ten slots for the farmhouse nine slots for the silo which is a two million capacity and it is multi-fruit um, pad storage six slots holds 250 items fermented silo Nine slots holds two million liters, we'll have a look at that in a sec. And cow barn is nine slots. Feed capacity for the cow barn is 21,375. And yeah, in terms with food, it is 33,000. Oh, sorry, food is 33,750, and straw is. 21,375 small correction there but yeah so let's have a look so first of all let's look at the cow barn your milk's gonna come out of here love the animation with the doors also you got a gate option here love the sound except the new straw from the traders straw blower and straw from bells that's why that bell was there don't worry I have a hen across. Also, you got lights for the sheds. Also, you got a little space here to store bells and that. So, if you've got bells, equipment, or even like big bags or pads of TMR or something like that, decent amount of space there. So, love to see that. Got another little entrance way there. You got your fermenting silo here. And, yep, yeah, so obviously, you find this under build mode and cows animals and cows terms with your fermenting silo you'll find it under productions and factories go towards the end so yeah with this you can produce silage from hay straw silage no sorry hay straw grass and chaff so yeah total capacity is 2 million liters and a production rate of 120,000 liters per month so yeah, 1,000 to 1,000, 120 cycles a month, which gets you the total output of 120,000 litres a month. So, overall not too bad. So yeah, the cow barn will set you back 80 grand. Salt count, yeah, as mentioned, 9 salt screws down to 1. And yep, yeah, similar with the production silo. That cost, I should have forgot to write down, so let's have a quick look. So yeah, the cost for the fermenting silo is 15 grand, so to be honest, I'll just get the pack just for the fermenting silo alone. It's not the fastest, I know, we've we got faster ones, but just that ability to do straw. 
Also, next we've got our L-shaped shed. So, yep, go here, and your light switch is like in the middle. Also, you've got another little storage area over here, so... Yeah, you got tons of shed space. And the good thing is, you can have this and have all the doors open at the same time. Also, you've got a little hayloft area up there, if you want to store bells and that. So yeah, equipment and all sorts of other good stuff. So the shed can be found under buildings, under sheds. Again, that will cost you also 15 grand. Some slots goes down to one. And next we've got the farmhouse, so... Got your wardrobe functionaire. I'm do who I thought it's a little stairways and that. Seat trigger is here on the side. Unfortunately, you cannot enter it like with 99.9% .9 of all farmhouses. That can be found under building and farmhouses. And that will set you back 50 grand. And next, we've got the silo. So, yeah, as mentioned, 2 million liters. It is a multi fruit. Got your light switch toggle on and off. So, input is here. Got a lot of space for any trader, so if it tips up in that, not an issue. Then we head over here, under here, this is where your output is. And yeah, so if we go into what we've got, so yeah, we've got ignored red beat. I've got TMR stored. I've also got other items stored in that. Fortunately, but not all of it's going to pop up in that. But yeah, I've got like half a million liters of wheat in here. Unfortunately, I can't find a tr area that tells you how much you've got stored. Because, uh, yeah, I've got field info on. But, yeah, go around the building. There's no particular area that I can notice. No, that will pop up and say, yeah, this is how much you got in storage. So, besides just for that one little minor detail, not too bad. So, yeah, you'll find some build modes, on buildings, under silos. Go towards near the end. So yeah, it's under. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, sheds and farm silo. Oh, yeah, and with these, of course, there's no corruptions in that. Go down to one slot, and that's where also you'll find your bell and pad storage. So yep, yeah. just open up here. Got your dialog box here. Also got a little access to the roof here. And yeah, I forgot to test whether or not this actually worked with everything, so yep, bells, pallets and that. Yep, all works and that. Yep, forgot to test that while setting this up, so I thought, yeah, just grab a couple of items. And yeah, you can see, neatly stacked over here, and I'm assuming once you get to the upper ends, it'll go onto the shelves and that, so Yep, overall not too bad. Also, it is dry throughable. And yeah, so if you want one item out, grab one bell. Alright, it comes out of there, so... Good bit of information to know. So yeah, that's the bell and power storage. And yeah, that is everything. So yeah, that is the three-sided farm pack by Bernishk. Next. 9.94 megabytes to download, slot count is 20, and essentially this is a storage for all of your root crops, so potatoes, sugar beet, carrots, parsnip, and red beets. It can store up to either 500,000 litres of one product, or up to 250,000 litres each for two products, so a total of half a mil. However, it only acts as a storage for two items when it is emptied, so for example, if you put items in this one first of all, you can do up to two in that, as long as it's 250,000 years. Yeah, I've got 56,000 years there, so yeah, it's not going to be an issue filling up with two items. However, if you go over the 250,000 year capacity, and yeah, so if you try to put a second item in, you can see both sides has been partially filled, so once you've gone over that 250,000 years, you can't use it as two items until you've emptied that. 
Oh yeah, and actually, overall, this is actually a nice little bit because rather than just a random like visual fill up, there's actually good levels of animation for this. So if I can figure out where the trick point is, it's a bit iffy in that. I should probably because that's on the ground. Yeah, I think how I placed it may not be in the best one. So yeah, when placing it down, don't enable free mode, just let it let it transform the terrain as it needs. So yeah, slot count is 20, goes down to 1. And there we go, that's better now. So we take our trailer over. Go over the dumping area, as you can see on the floor. Yeah, that's better now. So empty it. Is it hidden or something? Possibly. Let's try that. Now it's going in. See, so yeah, it goes onto here, goes up the conveyors, and yeah. See, it fills up one side at a time. And if we say get some red beet or something in, or a bit of parsnip, so yeah, can't get it going to that one. But because we haven't overfilled this one yet, yeah, sure is fine on trigger. So yeah, the trigger is a little bit iffy. Yeah, trigger's a little iffy, but once, yeah. Now it's going in, so see, it's going up to conveyor, and now it's filling up that site. And to get your items out, all you have to do is drive around the back, and yeah, get close to the trigger area, select your crop, and it fills it up. It's not the fastest off discharging rate, but overall it's not too bad. So yeah, 50,000 to place. Daily upkeep of 50. So yeah, that is the Earthfruit Storage by FPK. Next. We've got a pack of essentially what is forms of generating income. This is Rent Your Stable. This is by... Farmer 5 Tom, 42.2 megabytes of download, and yeah, essentially, this is if you got a shed, like we got over there, and you're not using it, you've got a variety of items you can place down within the sheds, or like I've done here on the outside, if you wish, and yeah, you can generate a source of income per month, so... Under build modes, under productions, under generators. Going from left to right, we've got the car storage space that is 13 slots. And yep, yeah, I'll go over the income you get afterwards. The garden and landscape interior rental. So actually, yeah, it's this one here. Yeah, uh, there we go. Uh, just making sure I got the right ones there. That is 41 slots. Got your gaming room. That is 15 slots. Got your hobby workshop. That is 24 slots. Got your carpentry. That is 40 slots. Warehouse, 13 slots. So that is your interior stuff. The following are exterior. So starting off with the large car park, 15 slots. Moving on, we've got the car park, 11 slots. Next we've got the garden and landscaping, that is 13 slots. Firewood storage area, that is 10 slots. Small playground, 5 slots. Van parking, 3 slots. Selling area for horse tree nursery, 20 slots. Planting area for the or of the Hortsman Tree Nursery that is 20 slots. And lastly, you've got the recycling center that is 13 slots. So yeah, 13 slots and 
With the exception of a couple of items goes down to one. Yeah, a couple goes down to two slots, but so yeah, you can get from I think it's like ninety-eight per yeah, ninety-six per month, ninety-six bucks, whatever it is currency a month. Or you can go up to five thousand six hundred a month. And I think that's the highest one there, I think. Yeah, no, that's the turbine. So yeah. Yeah, five thousand six hundred and eighty eight you can get per month. So yeah, if you got like shit areas over here, as I've done, I've placed a car park down, a game room, and I place a couple of exterior items and yeah, it recommends where you place it, so let's just grab a shed, so something like this. I hate shedding that. Place it down as ever. Next, go to your items, so generators and that. So yeah, it recommends when placing it down, if it's interior, it's recommends using the free mode and that, so obviously that is exterior, so yeah, this is a select the landscaping, so obviously you need toggle free mode, obviously. So yeah, for example, you could just place a couple of these on as you wish. Ah, uh, yeah, also fancy a area for cars. Nope, too big. What about a little game room? And uh, one thing I love about this, it's like description of these. Like, for example, 20 by 10 meters, the local Ellis Gamer Club is looking for a small room for multiplayer evenings. They can only afford 600 bucks a day, so. Yeah, for like a little. Yeah. That is nice. And yeah, just whack a bunch of these down if you want. So yeah, you've got an unused shed. Do a bit of role playing or a bit of storytelling. And yeah, each of these items has got all sorts of like, lovely descriptions. For example, donate 15 grand for a playground for the community. And yeah, the municipality will give you 500 bucks a month. It says per day, but a day is a month, so take that as you wish but yeah like overall not too bad and yeah it does say for outside I recommend placing it as is so it adapts the, to the terrain so fair enough to that so yeah a handy little form of generating income with a unique twist so yeah that is rent your stable by farmer 5 tom next Moving on to the equipment, we've got the Lizard Hydroglide XL Header Storage System. This is by Superfly1842. 0.71 megabytes to download, and essentially it is a form of storage for your headers. It comes in a pack of an XL and a large version. The XL version is designed for 30 meters or over grain headers. And the large version, which we've got over here, is says capacity for three seven and a half meters or over header. So, yeah, so you'll find these under build mode, under tools. So, yeah, for the XL, you're looking at 17 and a half grand and 12 and a half grand for the large version. And, yep, yeah, slot count is. I forgot to write down the notes for slot counts, but yeah, it's five slots for the large one or the XL version. So yeah, large one is going to be five or less slots, so... But yeah, regardless, not too bad. So yeah, fun functionally, you can like sort of stack your headers up, so if you've got a, a large farming at. So yeah, to operate this, so you need to start from rack one. So yeah, press circle for rack one. That lowers it uh, all the way down. And yeah, I love the animation that, especially like, the warning beacons as well. So yeah, all you have to do is simply go and place your header down. Dump your header like so. Then what you need to do is set to reset rack one. So yeah, that will raise it up. To operate rack 2, go to the 2 area. So, yeah, toggle that. So, rack 1 will say at the top. 
And yeah, so we'll grab our second header. Like so. There we go. And there we go. Just whack it down like so. And yeah, go to two. And there we go. It's raising that. So yeah, it's similar for that. Ah yeah, it does say in the description it is vital you need to reset reset the racks in between storing each header in the event of an emergency. Use the emergency button located to the left or on the control panel here. And yeah, so yeah, if you've got issues you can emergency stop and then reset. So if I can pr pretty much see this, let's say if you're using this and you're having weird issues with your headers and that, then yeah, you can use that. But yeah, so obviously, like so, you can't get the headers and that, there's no yeah, ways of getting it. So yeah, simply all you have to do is reset. Just let that reset itself. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, may do that or may not. So yeah, to get your uh, racks back. Oh, there we go. There's your rack. So yeah, to get your headers down. Let's say if you want your X sign header, you need to operate two first of all. Move that out, and then load that one. Because if you say, "Oh, I want that one," and you say, "Oh, lower rack one." Here's what happens. So, yep, that goes down, and yep, that happens. So, yep, just reset your racks and that. And because of that issue, yeah, <laughs> now you've got a stack of headers. So, in theory, you can actually stack more than three headers. I think, yeah, get as many as you can on the top. Perhaps I'll say two's the limit. Get another one or so there, and your third one could go on the bottom. Oh yeah, essentially this is the same for this one here, so... The rack two. Get your header on that. Oh yeah, I actually, I do love this, I like... Don't have many forms of rack headers or like, header storages on FS22. So yeah, of course you can adapt this to fit into a shed if it's large enough. And actually, it says green headers, but what about corn headers? I don't see that being an issue. So right, I've got a corn header here. This is a 12 meter header that folds up. So I think to fit it onto the Excel version, yeah, that's going to be quite close fit. But yeah. Lower that. And yeah, I'm using this in a way that's not intended by the mod maker. I will let you know that now. So yeah. Oh uh, no. It's not quite perfectly aligned. Nope. But yeah, I'm sure there's a way of squeezing this on. If anything, I'll say use the large version. So there we go. Bang there, bang there. Reset rack two, so yeah, you can store your corn headers. And actually, I'll say that's quite good. It's like, okay, it's on the verge of clipping, so personally, I'd say, yeah, may not use your corn headers. If you do, use it as unfolded, so. Yeah, you can use the small one for bigger headers because it says seven and a half meters or over. So, for example, this is twelve meters. Place it down like so, and yeah, once again, reset rack two. All right, okay, slight little blip there. In fairness, that wasn't perfectly aligned, but all said and done. You can't get away with bigger headers and a corn header, so... Anyways, that is the Lizard Hydroglide XL Header Storage System by Superfly1842. Next.
we've got the Bell Conveyor Belt. This is by Bernie SCS and Silent Modding. 2.55 megabytes to download, and essentially this is a Bell Conveyor Belt that's used to transport high density bells onto a hayloft. The hayloft can be maneuvered backwards into the correct position, and can be moved forwards and back, and now it says. It says can be moved with the mouse and draw bar and can be hidden with X, so that's the PC control. So yeah, so let's go into Enter Machine. So yeah, you can drive forward and backwards. However, one thing I've experienced with this is if you go forward, it tends to go to the right. And backwards, it tends to go left. But then eventually it does correct itself. But yeah, I'm steering left, hard. And it's still slightly curving to the right. So, yeah, it's not many controls in that. So yeah, got fold and unfold. That's for your t um, transport net. Turn on conveyor. L1 and right stick, up and down. Raises and... Yeah, raises and lowers the belt. There's no form of extension. So yeah, a thing I use for this would be for a hayloft that is elevated. For example, that new French map. Uh, what's it called? Uh, pr not Prairie Nat. Uh, what's it called? Paline. Yeah, Paline. That's it. So yeah, on the main farm, the hayloft or storage net is. Up elevated, so you need to move your bells and raise it up with something like a telehandler net. So I've got two forms of bells. Yes, these are little bells to give this a fair chance. So, yeah, turn on, turn on the conveyor belt. So, actually, also fold that. So, let's grab our size war for square bells. This would be. Try to put it on. Does need a bit of manual assistance. What about if we say do it that way? Oh, okay, does it automatically pick up from the ground? So, uh, yeah. So, with something like this, I recommend with bells, you have to put it on yourself. Not like so, but. Like so, and there we go. It really takes it up. So yeah, it goes into a hayloft, or in this case, our automatic storage. You can use round bells, so I'm gonna try it the obvious way that I don't think it's gonna work. So that way, no, it's it's gonna roll off in that. So for round bells, place it something like flat. So yeah, it's not the best, I'll say. It's more, yeah, it's more for it, maybe small bells and that, and... Yeah, I see a limited usage of this, but regardless. So let's enter a vehicle and turn it off. You'll find this under Tools and Belt System. Go towards the end. But yeah, it's 1,020, so overall it's not that expensive. Slot count is three, goes down to one. Travels at three miles an hour, weighs 870 kilograms. Five horsepower. So yeah, that is the Bell Conveyor Belt by Burning SCS and Silent Modding. Next. We've got the Resistant Weight. This is by Bailey. Bailey. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Slot count is for Eagle Sound 2 1. And yeah, essentially, this is a 1.8 ton weight. You'll find this under Tools and Weights. Go towards the end. Main color option a limited palette, but that changes the main frame. And your design color changes the little pusher bits on the on weight. So yeah, let's go into our John Deere here. So yeah, essentially this is a 1.8 ton weight. But you can use this for pushing stuff around. 
And uh, possibly even like Levin Sucker. It's got like a. If I raise it up a sec. Yeah, it's almost got like a little lip on the bottom of it there. So. I can use that for like compacting that in silos and that. But yeah, no other bits of just besides from this it, lifting the hand to lower the weight. But yeah, overall, nice little bit. Love the little levels of detail. So yeah, that is the resistant weight by Bioli. Next. We've got the Quivine APX RS. This is by Matteo40 and NicoDo55. 9.75 megabytes to download. Slot count is 9. And yeah, this is a disc harrow, a 4.4 meter. So yeah, you find this under tools and disc harrows. Go towards the end. So yeah, 24,800. Requires 120 horsepower, yeah, 4.4 meters working speed, or working width, 8 miles an hour working speed, weighs 3.7 tons. So yeah, 9 slots goes down to 1. Let's hook up to the case here. So let's unfold. And then lower. There we go. Pulling along, so yeah, I'm doing. Well, actually, you know, we're doing 90 miles an hour, so. Well, yeah, it says 14 kilometers per hour, so yeah, 40 kilometers an hour or 90 miles an hour, give or take, by a factor of one digit. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Love the animation, love the little level of detail as well. Quite simplistic, but overall, not too bad. Let's detach. Loved a little bit of wood on that. Yep, yeah, overall, very simple on that, but hey, it serves a purpose on that to someone, especially on small farm that. So, yeah, that is the Covoin APX RS by Mateo40 at NicoDo55. Next, we've got the 770 or Case IH 770. This is by Hungry Bull. 17.96 megabytes to download. Slot count is also 9 slots, goes down to 1, and also it is a disc harrow like the one we just looked at. Cost 9,900, requires 108 horsepower, and a working width of 6.2 meters. So, once again, under tools and disc harrows near the end. So, yeah, you've got various of wheel brands, BKTs, or Trailborg. You've got a US rim or a Hungarian rim. And for your decal configuration, you've got a US case IH. So you'll see that there on the frame. Or you've got a Hungarian IH. Ah, yeah, just little bits of details changing there. Hungary now. So you've got an international and a case IH decal. The wheel lifting cylinder, you got a one wheel lifting cylinder, or a two wheel two wheel lifting cylinder, or back to one. So yeah, essentially that is just the hydraulics and that, so two or one. Maker option, so you got your basic colour palette or a variety of case red, case yellow, and a case orange. So similar to like the construction case colours. But of course it's gotta be red. Spring colors, you've got stainless steel, black, case H red, and your case oranges. So let's select a hot pink. So yeah, all that does is change is that one spring there. And ring colors, let's go with a green. So that changes the rims. And that is it. So of course, since this is a case, we'll use a case. Let's back this up and get hooked up. Unfold this arrow. So R1 and right stick. You can actually pivot this. Oh, nice. How does that look when it's like lower to the ground? I wonder. So once it's over to the ground, yeah, I should have two. I should like that. 
L1, nothing. L1, R1, nothing. See, that is lowered. See, I'm raising it with R1 right stick. And then it just, just changes how it looks now. But yeah, overall, not too bad. So yeah, let's lift that and fold it. So yeah, not as spacious like, in terms of storage and that, but overall, say, I was about a 4 meter width in that storage and that, I'll say. But anyway, that is the K770 ball. Next, we've got two John Deere mods by Agritono. But first of all, we're looking at the John Deere 627C. This is a 13.4 meter corn header, cost 84 grand, working speed of 6.2 miles an hour. Slot count is 9 slots for console. So, yeah, you'll find this under tools and corn headers. There we go. Lightings, we've got no or yes. Basic color palette along with a New Holland yellow, weirdly. Despite this being a John Deere, but... And actually, I think that is the biggest header that is. Yeah, actually, it is. So, compared to your base game stuff, this is a huge corn header now. So yeah, I'll hop into the John, John Deere combine. We'll look at this in a sec, so... Yeah. Hook up. Unfold the header. Oh, I do love how it just goes boop 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 boop. Ah yeah, nothing else you can do to the header, no adjustments in that. So yeah, nine slots goes down to one. So yeah, overall, not too bad. I will demonstrate this in a sec, along with our next mod, but yeah. This is the John Deere 627C by Agritono. Next, we've got the John Deere S7. This is also by Agritono. So yeah, we've got two different options as it comes with. It is 43.55 megabytes to download. Slot count is 22 slots for the 600 version. And for the 700 to 900 version, it is 23 slots. So you'll find this under vehicles and under combined harvesters. Go towards the end, so yeah, 600 is, or 600 series is, 380 horsepower, 26 miles an hour top speed, 8,800 in capacity, up to 14,100, weighs 90.1 tons, basic hopper capacities and crops and that, 1,250 the air fuel capacity, for your 700 and 900 series, Horsepower is 460 to 617, weighs 19.4 tons, and capacity's gone up to from 10,600 litres to 17,200. And yeah, both of these goes back down to one. So yeah, for your 700 and 900 series, for your green carrier, so you've got green carrier, 10,600 litres, got same with arches. Got same with the tarp. Ah, yeah, we've got this one here, which says 10,600 litres, but it says on the left 12,600 litres. 10,600 litres with arches, but 12,600. Same with the tarp. With the 10,600 litres extended, that goes up to 15,700. And then, yeah, we've got 14,100. 14,100 with arch, with tarp. And the extended version of that goes up to 70,200. 40,100 with a foldable. And back down to 10,600. So yeah, 460 horsepower with the 700. With the 800, it's 540 horsepower. And for the 900, it's 617 horsepower. World brands, we've got Continentals, Michelin's, Trailborg, Lizard, and back to Connells. So under the desert, we've got standard, transport, twin wheels, core tracks, core tracks 2, back to standard, Connell, standard, standard 2, transport, transport 2, twins, 
Twins 2, Core Tracks, Mission Ends, pretty much the same. Treborg, got slightly more tracks as an option. But besides from that, exactly the same. Front six name, got standard or signal bar, so that's the little bars on the sides. Got your reflective signaling, signaling two, back down to standard. Numbers go from one, so that's on the hopper there, up to nine. Rear signaling, we've got standard, triangle, signaling bar, signaling bar and triangle, reflective signaling, ref reflective signaling and triangle, and back down to standard. For the chopper, we've got a model one, Model 2, Model 3, and back to Model 1. For the worn stickers and cameras, we got with worn stickers, without worn stickers, so where is that to? Oh, yeah, that's just on the side of the combine there, on to our right. So, yeah, because with and without, with and cameras, without and cameras. So yeah, just a little bit of detail in there. Exhaust, we've got standard. Model 1, so that's on the top there. Model 2, and back down to standard. Go to our windows film, we've got standard. Smoke 1, smoke 2, smoke 3, and back to standard. Monitor G4 and G5, we've got the G4 monitor and G5 monitor, so it's that in cab, so yep, that's just the monitor systems in cab. So you got a G4 and a GPS, G5 and GPS, and back to G4 and that. Rear gauge, you've got standard 3.22 meters, so that is the rear axles, and goes up to 3.84 meters. So you can tell the difference there, so basically, it just Increases the width of the rear axles. Pipe, you've got your standard 6.9 meters, 7.9, 8.9 meters, adjustable 8.69, 7.9, and 8.9. Got your 6.9 meters with holes up to 8.9. Got your adjustable with folds and back down to your standard pipes. License plate. And for 600, it is exactly the same. Just besides for the capacity, so 8,800 up to 10,570, 40,100, and back down to 8,800. So, yeah, let's demonstrate these two. And one thing I like with this so we've actually got functional controls on the outside. So, go to cab so if you look on the left we've got control group one so that is the stairs and mirrors so l1 r1 left stick see that adjusts both mirrors so left stick points them in right right sorry left stick to the right extends them left stick inwards brings them in and then l1 r1 Right stick, left to right, so right brings it in, and left stick brings it out, or the opposite way around. So yeah, on to control group two, we've got the interior animation, so we've got a variety, so R1 and right stick, left to right, brings the seat forward, right stick up and down, adjusts the actual seating height. L1, R1, so right stick, no sorry, left stick, left and right, opens and closes the doors. L1, R1, right stick, left to right, uh, just the steering. L1, R1, right stick, up and down. So you can actually adjust the steering column like so, with right stick, left to right, the angle. And to bring it forward and to bring it away, it's right stick forward and backwards, L1, R1. And for your final group, we've got the side cover. So that's these on the upside. So we'll start with L1, R1. 
Right stick. Left to right is to rear cover. And right stick up and down is that. R1. And right stick left to right is for the right side. Uh, yeah. I think I just love that. Just, you know, just keep everything open. Quarters by Arutodo, so love the level of detail. Let's, see, let's go and unfold the horror story net. See, I'll sort of turn everything on. See, and now you see the belt going for the headers and that. And yeah, it's just still things like that I absolutely love. See the chopper net underway. Also, you can see the engine spinning that. It's just little things like that I do love. So, anyways, so let's go into our cornfield here. So, it's six miles an hour speed. So, this is a realistic speed. I like how it's chucking out the sort of chaff bits of the straw. Or, sorry, the channel base bits of the corn. I like the way of how it is filling up. Yeah, it rolled the cord header as well itself. I know this is showing off both mods in one. Love the animation. And yeah, what more is there to say? So turn that off. So yeah, that is the John Deere S7 and 62C corn header by Agritono. Next, we've got the Lizard 608D. This is by Cola. 28.15 megabytes to download. Slot count is 16 slots for the truck, and 3 slots for the bolt carrier 4x2 and the animal transport. So, first of all, you'll find this under vehicles and trucks. 28,000 place, 28,000 to buy. Weighs 3.1 tonnes, 85 horsepower, 80 years fuel capacity. So yeah, for our first options, we've got our emblems, emblems. so we've got 608D. So yeah, that's all it is, just the emblem, size of the cab. Like so. Wheel set, we've got standard. Standard 2, which is white walls. Design 1, design 2, white walls there. So yeah, I do love the white walls, I have to say. But yeah, decorative, decorative sash, got none, sash one, sash two, sash three, sash four, and back to none. The PX antenna, we've got none, or none, design one, design two, design three, design four, design five, six, seven, eight, nine, back to none. Sun shield, we've got no, design one, design two, design three, or none. Bumpers got none, design one, design two, design three, design four, design five, design six, design seven, design seven two, and back to none. Exhaust, we've got standard, exhaust two. So that puts that straight pipe to the right. Exhaust three, exhaust four, exhaust five, six, back to standard. Markers got no or yes. So yeah, that's just the markers on the side of the truck. Got embellishment of the rear lights. Got no. Three orange lights, three red lights, five orange lights, and five red lights, and back to none. Got your steering wheel colour, so we've got white, black, and back to white. Rear hubcaps, we've got no or design one, design two, design three, back to none. Front hubcaps, we've got the same. In a way, capacities, we've got the plastic fuel tank, which is 80 litres, and your round fuel tank, which is 100 litres, and your square tank, which is 120 litres, and back down to your plastic tank. Colours, so you've got your base game options, along with a 
plethora of color palettes, so different shades, got your yellow, got a yellow too, so it's slightly more aged. Green water now. So you got a huge option, so that's your main colour. Your hub colour is your hubs. And your chassis colour is like red. Rim colours, you got red, chrome, grey, or white. For your animal transport, that is under tools and animal transport. So five grand. Design, you've got black or white. So that's just a little bit on the bottom. Design, black or white. Design again, black or white. Same colour palette. So for example, got your orange, got your light blue, which is for the bottom, and your hot pink, which is just for the little bits on the sides. That can hold six cows, six sheep, eight pigs, and six horses. Weighs 1.9 tons. For your bolt carrier, it's under trailers. So yeah, bolt carrier 4x2. Weighs 1.9 tons, holds up to 14,000 litres. So yeah, you've got your bell trailer, which is not a auto load, or 40,000 litres, or your just a basic flatbed. Design colours, yeah, so black and white, we've already seen. Same colour palette, so just, just for quick demonstrations. So that's for that. Purple. That is fashion that's for your yeah, that's for your trader. So your first design colour is your cover. Yeah, light blue is the bottom in that. Red, there we go. So yeah, overall let's hop into here. And actually I do love that engine sound. Honk. And let's kick into gear. Actually, I love that engine sound. Just to hear that rattling and whistling. Actually, I do enjoy that. Not too bad at all, if I see so myself. So, yeah, let's go and hook up to one of these because there is a little word of warning. Hook this up, so when you go along, go and gently left to right, it's not too bad, you see a little bit of roll. However, go at speed, let's go past the combine sec, it can tip very violently, to the point that you can almost tip it over. I think I'm back in right. Yeah, banking right, and that is pretty much on two wheels for a good part of that. Occasionally that front left is hitting that ground, but yeah, so... But yeah, you got tension straps options there. For your cab, you got, yeah, nothing, just open cover, yes or no. Let's just simply unload a little flat there. I'm well, actually too like that. Back to the bed. Yeah, no other options for tipping out. See, so, yeah, it doesn't raise up or anything like that. Just gradually just tips out at the back like so. But yeah, that is the Lizard 608D by Cola. Next. For our penultimate model today, we've got the Volvo NL Series. This is by Nassif Modding and AJ3D. 20.86 megabytes to download, 17 slots for console, 310 horsepower, and costs 43 grand. So you'll find this under vehicles and under trucks. Go towards the end. Top speed 74 miles per hour, weighs 10.6 tons. Manual transmission, 480 litres of fuel capacity, 
So yeah, configuration, so you've got a 6x2 or a 6x4. So yeah, that just adjusts a few little things, including the fifth wheel. Engine, got your NL10 310 or 320, 340, NL12 360, NL12 410. So that goes from 211 horsepower for your NL10, and up to your NL12 410, that is 410 horsepower. So you can go up in increments of horsepower. So yeah, overall not too bad. Cost an extra 18 grand for the top engine. Front bumper we've got design one, design two, design three, back to design one. Mirrors, design one, design two, back to design one. Radio antenna, front left, front right, two front or none. Stickers, we've got stickers, stickers two, stickers three, stickers four. Stickers 5. Oh, yeah, it's just the colours I was looking at. Sticker 6, Sticker 7, 8, 9, 10. So, yeah, you got a, up to 12, just different shades in that. Or we got none. Decorative lanterns, we've got no or yellows. So, that is your lights at the back. So, yeah, you got red, green, blue, no or yellows. So yeah, overall, not too bad. Didn't mean to leave there. But yeah, decorative lights got no yellow. And is that at the back again? Nope. Ah yeah, so your decorative lights is on the interior. So yeah, now I see it. So you got yellow, red, green, blue, or none. Airfoil got no. Deflector, airfoil or none. Stair lights, we've got orange, red, white or none, so it has on stairs. And yeah, so you've got your main colour, so you've got some options. Got yellows, got oranges, got reds, a couple of greens and a blue. And then you got your basic colour palettes and a different red. Fenders, so that's your fenders at the back front grill so let's pick a light blue that's gonna be your front grill ring colors so yeah stainless steel silver and all that typical stuff and your license plate so hop into here turn on the engine oh I do love that sound so yeah L1 right stick left to right adjust this down mirror. So yeah, that's the left mirror. And R1 and the right stick left to right. Just as the right mirror. L1, R1. L1, R1. Left stick left to right. Is that front mills? So yeah. Slowly lowers the front mills. So you can see there. raises them up so I should didn't lose like the first time around so nice little bit of detail. Only thing I will say is the mirror so yes you can sort of see at the back like, actually I want to say I'll put a combine behind me so yeah I've got the combine horse right behind me and that is not picking up that combine at all. No, so small update. I think it's needed for the mirrors. Yeah, that's a field there, but that's the field in front of us. Yeah, I'll just turn around now, just have a look. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what that, yeah, what that is. But yeah, overall not too bad. Lights. So yeah, got all your various lights. Got your halo lights. Got the green lights on the back. But yeah, so let's go and just a little test drive this.
not too bad, other than they pick up and go. Yeah, overall, not too bad. So let's park this up over here. So yeah, that is the Volvo NL EDC series by Nassif Modding and AJ3D. Next, for our final mod of the day, we've got the New Holland TK4 series by Pepe978. 22.81 megabytes download. Slot count is 13 slots. Ah yeah, essentially this is for like vineyard work. And you got a 85 horsepower engine or up to a 100 cent horsepower. It does come in two configurations, so you got your rubber tracks and you got your metal tracks, along with weights and a variety of safety options. So you'll find this under vehicles and small tractors. Go towards the end. So yeah, 43 and a half grand initially for the rubber tracks and 47 and a half for the iron tracks. The weight doesn't change, so four and a half tons. Top speed of seven miles an hour. 96 liter fuel capacity, and yeah, 85 or 107 horsepower. So yeah, configuration. So got your standard: 120 kilograms, 280 kilograms, 350 kilogram weights, or none. Your engine set: we got your TK90M, TK100M. TK110M, got your TK90M but in a Centauri, TK100M and 110M, so just your, yeah, still New Holland, not just your variations of there, so a lot of it is just cosmetic, but engines is exactly the same. Got protective arch, no or yes, so shoot that off. Side protection, so that's by the seat, got no. Left, right, or yes for both. So yeah, hop into the Iron Track version. I love the engine sound. A little toot on the horn. I do love that sound of the Iron Tracks. That's very tanky like that is. But yeah, lights, beacons, so yeah, L1 and right stick left to right, that adjusts the little hitch on the back, but yeah, I'll be for like your trays and that. R1, right stick left to right, raises and lowers the little protective arch. And yeah, and L3 is toggle steering mode, so... Alright, so you've got your steering left to right here. And all that does is just... Yep, yeah, protect bar or none. And L1, R1, nothing's there. But yeah, I do love the level of detail. And of course, it's by Pepe978, so... You expect this in a way. Let's put it back up. Hop into the rubber tracks and does the track sound the same? No, that is good. So if you're a fan of that sort of iron tracks like that, kind of like tank like vehicle tank style, there you go. But yeah, obviously. Front loaders can't do anything about it because you don't have the protective arch. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Do enjoy these. So, yep. That is the New Holland TK4 series by Pepe978. And that is end of all the mods today for the 12th of April 2024. And as always, hopefully, you find this mod review helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash the button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed channel yet, then please consider. But for what you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this will be from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon. Mm -hmm.